Hi, my name is Chris Hart. I'm a cartoonist. I'd like to show you how to draw a cute and simple beaver character today. I mean, they are, to me, they are like the cutest types of animals for cartoons. I'm going to give this beaver a big head and a little body, so I guess it'll be kind of a baby. Little legs. See the little butt sticking out? That adds that cute babyish quality. We have this teardrop kind of shape here for the body. And we give him just a little arm. A couple of fingers here. Now let's go, now we have the basics in. I'm gonna bring this leg in a little more because that'll, that'll make the stomach look like it's bigger. See, look how that does that. It exaggerates the look of the stomach when the legs are in together. have that paddle tail. All right, so now let's give them a big nose. Beavers have big noses. I put the eyes far apart. Make them look a little guilty, huh? A big muzzle. And tooth like that. Rounded face. Now, as you notice, as I go along, I make adjustments. You know, I see a lot of videos on YouTube by a lot of really talented artists, and they just don't ever make a mistake. And to me, I think it gives the wrong message to young artists, that that's the way to draw. You're supposed to draw without any mistakes. But these people are generally drawing characters they've drawn a million times, or they're tracing things. And both are fine. You know, it's fine to do that stuff, you know, of course. However, I just personally don't like that message you know, that people tend to get from it. Not that these people are trying to, you know, send that message, but it seems to imply it. And so I just want to take the opportunity to say, you're supposed to erase, you're supposed to make a mistake. If you don't make mistakes, how are you going to take any chances and improve? Cartoonists and animators have more paper in their waste can, their trash can by their, uh, their desk than they have on their desk. Clean paper and finished drawings. It's just the way it is, so. Here, a little more whiskers, a little, a little lower lip for cuteness. Put a horizon line behind him. And we'll color in the tail a little bit. Give it a little bit of outline here, a little thickness. You can get a little nostril if you want. I'm going to give him a couple little eyelashes. Give him that cute look. And there is your beaver character. Well, I hope those tips were good. Been good for you. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for uh, visiting my YouTube channel. And I have new YouTube videos posted every Friday. I hope you'll join us. I hope you'll look out for it because we learn something new. We have some fun every week. Thanks. See you then.